Good evening and welcome back to another episode of The Longing. You guessed it, we are continuing our slow and steady march through the Halls of Eternity to get back to the uh, caves where we are going to do a lot of drawing. We've got 130 pieces of paper where um, we are going to be drawing pictures. And I need, I need some way of keeping track of what we have and haven't drawn. And that's just going to be by looking at the wall. Because after all, they will be drawn and therefore available to, to look at, which is useful. But until that happens, we haven't got much more to talk about, as always. <sighs> this is this really is where the Halls of Eternity suck. Let's be honest. Not being able to have something to talk about for the game is a problem. Oh, uh, I suppose one thing to talk about is that I've got some uh, contact lenses now. Trial contact lenses that I need to try at some point, but I need to um, try them at a useful point, if that makes sense. Uh, I've got 10 pairs of them, and I'm hoping that they'll be nice because I'm hoping that they'll work quite well. Um, because if they do, I may end up using them a lot more than my actual glasses. Just for the convenience of not having to have my glasses on. If that makes sense. Um, well, well, certainly for... If they work out, certainly for not having to have my glasses on for events and going out and about and doing stuff out and about as it were if that makes sense but they had to specially order in the strength as far for for the test samples for me to use them just because um the strength that i need are slightly higher than their standard default strengths like they're not it's, it's not like they're 
unusual or anything. It's just that um, they don't tend to keep the higher value, higher strength ones in stock. They don't seem to use them as much. Yeah, I'm hoping that contact lenses will work out for me. Because I did, I did have some about 12 years ago, 11 years ago, something like that, for a couple of months. But I just found the... Because at the time I had them as monthlies. But I found the trying to keep them clean and... Yeah, the cleaning them and the using them multiple times, taking them in and out carefully. I found that it became tedious. Whereas I'm hoping with the dailies, I'll at least... Like, because there isn't the commitment of once they're open, you're, out, you, you're probably better off using them as much as you can in that month. There isn't that commitment. I can just use them when I need, when I want to or need to. Um, which I think will proved to be nicer and probably there will be some periods of time where I don't use the contacts at all for a month for example so I think it'll just be a case of I end up ordering them in batches so I'll get maybe like a month's worth at a time and that'll maybe last me two, three months, maybe even four, depending on how often I actually use them or how often I go out and do things, as it were. So I think I think getting dailies is going to be beneficial for me over the monthlies. It's going to be getting good at putting them in. That's going to be the tricky part. And recognising whether they are backwards or not. Or inverted. Because they can end up inside out and you don't want them inside out. For obvious reasons. So it's going to be learning to identify whether it's inside out or not. That's going to be a tricky part. But it's going to be annoying. Because if I get it wrong, then it's going to be uncomfortable. It would be nice to not need them at all though. You get laser surgery or something, but there are risks involved with that and you need to have a stable um, stable eye strength requirement. Stable prescription, rather. 
But anyway, enough about that. Um, we have reached the end of the episode. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon or night. No matter what time of day it is, I hope you all have a wonderful one of it. And as always, we will be back tomorrow for more of The Longing. Goodbye.